What up, what up? It's your boy Mo Hustle, and we are now live on the hot seat. And today we got a special guest. Go ahead and uh, introduce yourself one time. It's your boy Richie Rich, you know what I'm saying? From the HTX Records, much love, Mo Hustle, and all the H Town getting down, you know? Already, man. How you been? Oh, man, I've been doing good, man. Just got back from the boot, Louisiana. Chilling yeah. like a villain, man. Just trying to make these moves, you know? Trying to see what to do. I feel that. I feel that. Yes, sir. Glad to have you on here today, bro. Oh, man, I'm glad to be here, brother. I'm glad to be here with you and everybody in this room. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, this podcast is not just about rappers. We know you rap a little bit, and we're going to get into that. But right here, we like to talk about some crazy stories, man. Man, we get it on. <laughs> Whatever you got to say. You, you, you want to share one of the craziest stories you ever encountered? Oh, man, I have many, many to tell. Which uh, which one I could really Which one you want to share? Oh, man, God bless. <laughs> Which one you want to share with the people the today? To the rats falling in the trap I leave them in. I don't know which one to begin, my brother. Um, wow. Hmm. Oh man, there's so many. I can't even. I can't even think or blink, man. But it's just good to be home, man. For sure. These stories, man. I got. I got a whole test. The whole testimony to tell on on a lot of things that I do. You know. I mean, I can make about twenty different movies with the life stories I've had. I've watched. I feel you. I've watched a lot of good and I watched a lot of bad, more good than bad, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. the crossfires in life, man, we just blessed to be here today, you know? The same, like I say, with my. Right, so, so, where are you from? Originally from Galveston, you know what I'm saying? Texas City, Galveston, the 409 block, you know, I started this, oh wow, 1998, brother. Been 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 doing this music thing for a good good hot minute. I disappeared for a minute because I had some things, you know, little problems at home that I had to take care of. You know what I'm saying? But I walked in this industry with a group called Flipped Out Demolition, Thugging and Pimping, okay. and it was Slow Mo Records back then, and this was back in '98, '99. And um, my homeboy Slow Mo, Simon Gomez, R.I.P. That's, that's my motherfucking G right there. I don't mean to cuss or anything like that. I don't yeah, know. You good? You cuss this man. But um, he met Filetto. You know okay. what I'm saying? And this is when the aggravator was going on. <clears throat> and for that little that little bit of time, you know, he introduced us because we were a group. You know what I mean? The aggravator was a group. Aggravator had almost seven seven different players, and we had about five to six as well. You know. And Filetto, Lord Loco, they took us underneath their wing and they and they introduced us to SPM. And this is all the way back to Hillwood, all the way back to Hustletown. And, you know, we started going round for round, pound for pound on some shit, man. And How can you describe that time? And that that's when everything was going down with SPM, right? Like it was it was it was going hard. It was the SPC before anything, G. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And 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 that's what I know for sure, you know what I'm saying? And then as I crept in the door of meeting meeting everybody of anybody was um, like I said Filetto again. You know I can't say it. All. I'm, I'm in this broadcast. I say it multiple times. You know, and that boy right there. You know he introduced us to Carlos. And when we went to the studio, this is about when they were doing Hustle Town and Merry Go Round. Merry Go Round. I'm sorry, Merry Go Round. The song. So we go to the warehouse to meet Filetto so he can introduce us to Carlos. And when he did, you know, we all we all in the warehouse, we all getting drunk, you know, just having a good old time. Well, my boy Slow Mo, Simon, he ended up ashing in Carlos's fucking drink. What? Yeah, we were drinking. What do you mean, he just, by accident, by or accident. he had it in his he, hand and he, he just ashed in it? He, he ain't know Carlos was still drinking the drink. Okay. It was a bush, Okay. any drink, you know what I mean, the bush. Right. Bush, um, a beer. bush beer. Okay. Yeah, no shit. So all right. he goes to flick his, his ashes, and we all smoking around, listening to the beat of Meg around. Okay, so SPM was drinking bush beer. Yeah. No oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is. I mean, this is back. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm just, I'm just asking a question. And all okay, dogs yeah. of any dogs, you know what I'm saying? We were there. So um, all right. He go flicking it, and then Carlos they know, and again Simon didn't know slow mo, and he went to take a swig, and he. He fucking spit that shit right inside his face, man. He's like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Hold on, man. He spit. He took a drink of the shit. Tastes like just, spit in his face. Right, right off the bat. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, you got the ashes in, in, the, in the 
left over. I saw how the John Boy react when he spit in his face. Oh, man, it was all kind of chaotic of that shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Went to, what the fuck, fuck you, yada, yada, woo, woo. It just it just got chaotic. You know what I'm saying? And, this, and, and we're only there for like 25 minutes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So the 25 minutes that we're there, we're, and, and they're getting into it, and, and again, Filetto's looking like, man, hold up, man. You know, um, I just brought these cats in here to, to, you know, to get around town, you know what I'm saying? Because we, you know, everybody in this in this little circle or whatever, this is all the new beginnings, you know what I'm saying? And everybody was just crawling before they walked type shit. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we got kicked out. Carlos kicked us right, smooth the fuck out. Y'all get the fuck out of here. I don't ever want to see y'all again and et cetera, bro. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was a trip. So when y'all left, how were y'all feeling? Uh, all types of ways, man. I, I tell you straight up, it was all types of ways, man. I was kind of fucked up over the fact that we were just being introduced and it went sour, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So when it went sour, we didn't know how to really take it. Emotions were all kind of types of crazy, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? But we recapped on that, you know? And then I didn't see Carlos for another couple of months until it was it was Kappa in Galveston. How was that experience? Oh, that was pretty live, man. I mean, I seen them. Um, see, again, Lifestyle, Powder was a good friend of mine, which Simon, it all boils down to my boy Slow Mo, Simon. He introduced us to a lot of folks, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And Lifestyle was getting it on, and, and, and Tommy G, you know what I mean? Um, we, we always chopped it up. We, we from the same hood, you know? So, Shout out Tommy G. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Much love for that. And um, Powder as well. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's, that's baby girl right there. That's, she rocked the world. She she doing the thug thing. You know what I mean? So back to that. So, I mean, back in the 90s, bro, it was a whole different story. You know what I mean? We we weren't the same as what I am today. You know what I mean? I grew I grew from that shit. Mm. And I grew in a whole different different path of, of learning experience. You know, you live and learn type shit, you know? So... Anyway, so we seen Carlos again, Juan Gotti, Rashi, um, and it's at Kappa, and they got they got a show on the east side. Well, we still we still thugging, you know what I mean? We still doing our shit on on, on the south side. And Potter called me um, and said, um, "Come pick me up." You know, this is about one o'clock. I'm at the club. Come pick me up, you know, or come on by here to the hotel that we at. We we over here on the seawall. So I, I get over there, and I mean, I walk in the door like I don't. I mean, we had just got into a, a, a chaotic shit at the club where we fighting and doing all this old stupidity ass shit, and so I I scurry up out of, uh, off the strand and go to the seawall, mm -hmm. go 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 chop it up with her. I don't know who she's with, right. you know what I'm saying, or, or anything. Well, Carlos laying on the bed, Juan got it right there. You know what I'm saying? We all. You know, and I we all remember one another. Well, this is when I got to talk to Carlos for real, for real. And he turned us up. To, uh, and I said, "Look, man, you know we in Galveston and all. You know we we got DJ Kid. You know he, he he's recording. He's a, he, he was at the time, boy. That boy was cold, bro. And um, you know we just needed a studio to fall into. You know that was the reason why Filetto took us over there to to meet him anyway." so we can do some recording over there mm -hmm. so um peter you know what i'm saying black bleeder you know rp to him too man I, um dirty work dirty work what it, what it was and he had this red it, red headed white dude man that boy was cold too man and and they they said well come on come on to the dope house we record you and and, and we'll start dropping some you know whatever y'all got going on sessions and this and this and this and that and carlos was the one that turned us on to dirty work you know what i mean so shout out to them man and like i said our piece of dirty you know my boy peter man because that's much love right there yo you know and and we went from that and i did the texas tour with um Reverly park okay and then when he just had came out with Reverly park Carlos was in the halfway home, and all of us went out there and did the Texas tour from Victoria to Corpus to, you know, all around Texas, all the way to South Padre and everything. Me, Gotti, the twin Berettas, you know what I mean? And and I stuck I stuck with them for a good hot minute. And then when I did, you know, we all we all had a damn good time. Hell, we sold more than Universal at the time. 
you know, Universal. I'm born in Universal. Yes, sir. We sure did. We was out there selling out the trunk like ain't no punk, baby, and we was tearing it up. So Universal, you know, he had that contract that he had just signed, and when he signed that contract, you know, Universal had Reverly Park too. So we had Reverly Park all around, all around the, the Texas tour. You know what I'm saying? From Dallas to et cetera, and we sold more than them at the time. And I think it was like, man, it wasn't. It was like 180 thousand. They made 120. You know, so we out, we outnumbered them on that one. Well, then I, I, um, you know, my first love. You know what I'm saying? Type shit. So when I come home, I didn't have a home to come to. And it was a trip, you know what I mean? Cause my best friend was doing doing my old lady, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, what the fuck, yo? Hold on, hold on, pause, hold on, hold on. Your best friend was doing your old lady. Well, I was on that Texas tour. Yes, sir. Pardon? You know, me and me and me and the old lady were together since we was 15, 16. Had, okay. had a kid together, you know what I'm saying? I had just turned 17 when my child was born. Right. You know what I'm saying? So um, all in the, in the mix. So how did you find out? I don't know where you come off tour, what it, or were you on tour when you found out? No, I came home. Um, no, I'm, 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 I'm sending money. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Dope House is paying for the Ramada Inns, the hotels for us, and per diem. It's kind of like a per diem check when you go out there. You, you, right. you know, you turn in the gas and all this and this and this and that. But we slanging out the trunk. Mm -hmm. So, you know, money money that I was making out there, bro, I was sending it home to baby girl, you know what I'm saying? Well, mm -hmm. again, I didn't have a home to come come home to. I was like, what the fuck? But, you know, you know, you it, it's that first love, you know, and it, it, it really it really twisted me that it was one of my best friends that, that was doing this to me while I was out and about. Damn. So recap on that, you know, you, I mean yeah, we did, we did some shit, you know what I'm saying? And, and he got he 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 really got in in a whole different triangle cuz I hurt him real bad. I ain't I ain't mean to do, but he hurt me <clears> real <throat> bad. So that's what we do, you know what I'm saying? So I yeah. did, I did 17 months at the time Carlos was getting locked up, you know what I'm saying? So I did my time, got back out, kept kept it real with everybody in the field that I I knew, especially for that old Lord Loco. Shut them down, you know what I'm saying? A D town, everybody on that side of town, to Rashi, the Low G, the you know every everybody knows exactly who Richie is, you know what I'm saying? And I just wasn't able to do the music, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I had to jump into different industries of hustles, you know what I'm saying? So I made my hustle life and did what I had to do, and just recently coming out, you know what I mean? And me and Filetto connected again, and that's when I met you. You know what I'm saying, and then and when we all collide, we we brothers from another mothers. You know what I'm saying. You already heard my music. A lot of y'all haven't. A lot of y'all will though. You know what I'm saying. I'm from the HTX Records. You know what I mean. Mm -hmm. And we're and Filetto's coming home in the next two weeks, and ain't no thinking, ain't no blinking. We about to tear this up. Mm. Yes, sir. So, have, have you ever tried? I don't mean to get off of a uh, topic. Have you ever tried psychedelics before? Like oh, yes, 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 indeed. My mushrooms was the best friend of me. Mushrooms, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah, man, I've had... I've had. What is one of the craziest mushroom trips you've been on? In the back of your house. <laughs> oh, shit. In the back of your house. I, oh. I seen a tree that was blowing as could be, and I was just like, I love that tree right there, and I was stuck. No, shit. Yes, sir, yes, sir. I, I mean, we was on a recording session, you know what I mean, but... Mm. I was so gone off the wind, and I, that's one of my best times I've ever wrote. You know what I mean? Is is because it just expands the. Talking about when me and Filetto were living together. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. So I was in the back, stuck like 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 Debo and uh, yeah, and the pigeon coop type shit. That was a big ass tree back there. Yeah, it was. I trimmed it. Remember? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. you did. You trimmed the whole damn everything. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I put the chainsaw out there, man, and do my bro, thing. Bro, and then you left me all of the fucking shit. We burned it together, We bro. burned it up, time, boom. We burned you know? it up, had a campfire, and then turned around, had the crawfish We did, man, we had the whole block smoking up. Man, we was chilling, man. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, good times, man. And there's so many times, like like you said, the, what type of wild stories you had. Well, that was number one. Mm. You know what I mean? When I got introduced, in, well, I wasn't introduced into the industry. I was just introduced to Carlos, you know what I'm okay, saying? Okay. And and with my boy flicking the ashes in his drink, you know. Yeah, that was funny as fuck. Yeah, it was a trip. That's what's up, man. But man, we live in life, man, and we come out here. You know what I'm saying? I just come out here, holler at my brothers. You know what I'm saying? For sure. I'm I'm in and out, state to state, place to place. You know, and I just 
letting everybody know that's on this broadcast of the hot seat to everything that Mo Hustle does, man, it's it's world wonders, baby. And you know, I mean, I watch. I, I'm 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 in the background watching. You know what I'm saying? But now I'm on the front line talking. You know what I'm saying? And what I see is what I see is nothing but the truth of what I speak, you know? So we just chilling, man, having a good old time, you know? I and feel you, man. I that's feel what it is, man. So, yes, sir. So, bad, man. So, how was it for you growing up? Like, did you have the mo your mother and your father? Because I, I, I met your mom before. She was pretty cool. Oh, uh, yeah. I only had, I, uh, in reality, I didn't even have both. But um, mama, mama had to get her hustle on, so grandma raised me, you know what okay. I'm saying? Okay. So there's another story I'll tell you about that one, too. That's but, the uh, first right there, so your grandma raised you. Okay, so yeah. tell, us, tell us what it is. Yeah, so, you know, I mean. That, grandma was strict or what? Uh, nah, she was so lenient because cause of, uh, cause cool. of my uncles. You know, we all, we all lived together, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, as, as me being about seven, eight years old, my uncle used to come in the house, you know. Now, there's five of us. It's, it's my three uncles, my mom, my sister, and my grandma. And I, I would sleep on the floor in the living room. Yeah. All right, so my uncle be out and about. He'd come over there and throw his boot on me. Bow, right in the, right in, right in the cheek. Oh, shit. <laughs> Count that money. And I'm like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? As a kid, I didn't, I didn't say what the fuck, but I'm like, yo, what, mm -hmm. what money you talking about? It's in my boot. Mm -hmm. Count that money. And it better be right, because I already know the number. So I, I pull it out of the wad. I get to counting, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to mess up whatsoever in any, any type of weather. So I'm counting. And then I go to school, you know what I mean? But I hit that number right on the money, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I didn't want to get popped again, you know? Mm -hmm. So, you know, it was, it, it was a rough life, man, but it was a good life, you know what I mean? I grew from that, you know what I'm saying? So my, mm -hmm. I watched as my grandma raised her kids and, and treated me like her kid of a son instead of a grandson that, you know, she, uh, I mean, she'd rather have us at home partying, bring all the people around, don't care who it is, what it is, as long as you in my house, you safe, you know what I'm saying? So. Mm -hmm. I, my abuelita is cold, bro. <laughs> I'm talking about cold. What kind, what kind of what kind of food she be cooking? What's your, oh, what's your best grandma's plate? Oh man, uh, homemade tortillas, homeboy. Anything with the homemade tortillas. I'm kind of casada to potato and egg to. Oh, you can't mess with her oatmeal though. She got a trick for days on her. Some of the and shit. Yeah, it's better than tole, homeboy. She did she did some stuff with her oatmeal that just I guess she wants okay. to say tole. You I got know you, what I got mean? you, I got you. Okay, that's yeah. what's up. Yeah. Well, hell yeah, man, that's what's up, bro. Man, but I could go on and on about that. Yeah. So. All right. So what? So at at what age? I mean, you you just live with your grandma all the way till when? So you got grown or what? Nah, I, 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 I jumped out of the, I, cause see, you know, my uncles and them, they, they, they sold a lot. They were hustlers, you know what I mean? Right. We all had to, you know, we all had to eat. So them, them the ones were, were my father figures cause, you know, dad would never around. I still don't know that nigga to the day. No. You know what I'm saying? He tried to call me in every which way, man. I, man, I ain't got time for that. I got kids of my own, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, there was one time, he's from Arizona, you know what I'm saying? So. <laughs> He, he called me one time talking about, you know, you come down here and we'll ride back to Texas, we'll beat each other up. I'm like, man, I'm gonna leave you in the desert, homeboy. What? You said we'll beat, he said we'll beat each other up? On the way back to Texas. I said, man, I'm gonna leave you in the desert. Beat each other up? Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, and I said, shit, boy, I'm gonna leave you in the desert, homeboy. I ain't gonna be, you ain't gonna make it to Texas, you know what I'm saying? So, it was a lot of, there was a lot of pain there, but man, I switched the game on him, you know what I'm saying? And I, it, I, I always look at life, man, is that you got to be better than, than, hmm. than what you, what, you know. In reality, you just, all, all the hurt, all the pain, all the, all, all the different situations that we all go through, and, you know, I mean, life, life's a problem. You just got to solve it, man. You just got to revolve around it and be, it makes you stronger, you know what I'm saying? And live longer, too, if you really do it the right way of a hustle that we live, you know what I mean? Because everything... Is everything, man. We we all we all ain't promised today, no. you know. So, you, you got any kids now? Shit, do I got some kids? Mm, hold on, man. What, what you got? I got what six kids, got? baby. Six kids. Yes, Woo! Sir. Shit. My oldest daughter's twenty six. Talk about it, man. Oh man, I love them to death, man. That's, yeah. that's, that's, my daughter's the reason why I changed. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Cause she was my first. I had just turned seventeen. You know what I mean, with the first love type thing, and right. 
And I got two with her, you know what I'm saying? And one's 26 and one's 24 with a grandson. Mm. My daughter gave me a grandson that's three years old right now. No shit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Damn it. How does it feel to be a grandpa? Oh, man, it's amazing. No oh, shit. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. I never thought I could make it this this long to be that strong, you know what I mean? But see, I feel it. see, he's, he's a little wettle, too. He's a little white boy, a goat, uh -huh. goatilocks type dude. Oh, oh man, he's the happiest camper of all, you know what I'm saying? And it's just, it's, it's amazing, bro. Yup, 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 yup. This is dope. One day I'm gonna be a grandpa. I ain't there yet. Oh, man, it's, <laughs> hey, hey, man, you, hey, I wasn't expecting. You know what I'm saying? I mean, there was a life. It's, it's just brought life to broad life. See, that's good. That's see, good. That's good. See, that's the, good thing, the thing about it is, is I'm a, I'm a, I'm a different bloodline. I'm a different breed. You know what I mean? And and, and that's like us. You know what I'm saying? We come yeah. from a different breed. You know what I mean? And, you know, a lot of a lot of y'all, you know what I'm saying, y'all, y'all, y'all coming up, y'all doing y'all's thing, and I'm loving every minute of it. Cause art is art, man. And when it comes to music, I listen to it. I listen yeah. to it. I'm a music fanatic, you know, so Who's 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 some of your favorite your your top th three favorite artists? Period. As of right now. Right now. Right now. Yeah, I mean it could be from the history from the old of rap. To the new, whoa. Top three. Wow. MC Bree. No shit. Yeah. Ain't no future in no front. You know what I'm saying? That song right there is the truth. All right, so we go. Uh, of course, we all, we all, we all did Tupac. You know what I'm saying? And what is your favorite Tupac song? All Lies on Me. Okay. Yeah. Yep, yep, right, yep, and the yep. third? Um, wow. I mean, there's so many I could I know, I know, but just give me the so third. so many I could pick. Top three, man. man, top three. You want me to stay with, with what I'm at? Or, I mean, I mean, you tell me. Top three. Who's gonna be on your top three? I'm a young Dolph, baby. You young Dolph, I mean? okay. I mean, yeah. I, that's that's What's your favorite young Dolph song. Oh man, water. Water. <laughs> yeah, water. Came outside the day. Water on water on what? Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> that's what's up, man. Yes, sir. That's what's up, that's, bro. That's a little bit, a little bit. Yep, yep, yep. But so, so, so you said you're not smoking no more. So why aren't you smoking no more? You on papers or something? Nah, no papers, man. I'm getting that bag of money right now. You know what I'm okay, saying? I got, I got different hustles, baby. I got a lot of hustles, man. And it's it's more than one. You know, I mean, I could build you a house. To I could I could I could do your concrete. To I, I could run the industry of the refineries. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I'm doing. I'm I'm a supervisor over there in the refineries right now. There's a new construction job. It's over seven hundred thousand acres right now, and. They got they got a lot of things going on, and I'm one of the captains, you know. So I got, I got a number one captain that that's been with me for 23 years now. Since from the beginning, when I said I got locked up, he he switched me into that industry. He said, "Look, man, all that dope selling you doing out there in the streets, man, mm -hmm. it, it it ain't the same." And I'm like, "What you mean it ain't the same?" He goes, "I got a different game." He goes, "Come on in this industry. It's a multi-million dollar industry, bro." Mm -hmm. And I did. You know what I'm saying? A, a true hustle going on. You know what I'm saying? As soon as you talk about Chang Chang Richie, he's on it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So he brought me in that industry, and that's a shout out to Bulldog. You know what I'm saying? Much mm -hmm. love to my boy, you know? And and that boy's still with me to this day. No. 23 years, yo. That's a that's a bet, man. So talk about your uh, new single. Or are you you working on a single, or you got an album out? Uh, well, you working on? the one that you did the graphics for is Ground Zero, The New Beginning, you know? and. I just got you know like 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 Jelly Roll just recently. I I listened to him as as he just started coming up, and when he was on, uh, I want to say the Grammy Awards or whatever awards he was on, he was thirty nine. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got a time line. It doesn't matter what time it is. Your time line will come out here and show you it's your time. You know what I'm saying? So right now, with Filetto's always been my mentor. Mm. He's always been my brother, the biggest brother I got out here. Shut up, Filetto. A lot of people underestimate and don't even know how much that boy has done in this industry. And I know for sure. So he helped you put the single together? Oh, he's helped me put multiple singles. No, I'm talking about the single that you got out right now. That's what we're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And and he's uh, he's really the only producer that has produced my music. You know what I'm saying? So. I haven't I haven't switched a, a sound to to I I mean everybody I I mean mad shout out to Shadow and and, and Grim you know what I mean and and 
and multiple other producers. You know what I mean? Where can they find your single at right now? Uh, you, you can't. It's not oh, you ain't put it out yet? No, no, yeah, sir. So you're working on it? Yes, okay. Yes, sir. When, when are you talking about releasing it? Uh, as soon as he comes home. Okay. Yes, sir. It's it's coming out this year. You know what I'm saying? I got I got over uh, every bit of 26 songs that are ready, like ready. <laughs> you know what I mean? So mm -hmm. we're, we're what we're what our plans are is to start dropping these videos when when he gets home. Mm -hmm. We me and Filetto got a song called Space City, mm -hmm. and this is gonna twist the script. You know what I mean? And and that's the number one that we're gonna start off with. And then Ground Zero, you know, there ain't no stopping us now. That's that's the one that's coming out behind Tent. Yo. And there's many other ones coming out. So, yeah. Got it. Yes, sir. Well, that's what's up, man. Much uh, love, much love, man. So hopefully soon you guys can hear your boy Richie Rich right here. He been down since day one, man. Before we end this review, man, I mean, this interview, review, whatever. We can't do a music review because you ain't got the music yet. Well, I could put something Check this on. out, though. No, look. Check this out. What's up? Any shout outs? Shout outs to everybody in the H. Shout outs to my family, number one reason why I'm here. You know what I'm saying? And and everybody in this H, y'all keep doing y'all stuff thing. You know, I mean, I, I see a lot and when it comes to Cali and Houston. You know what I mean? There's no blend in that, but it can be blend. But from H Town, from where I'm from, from the 409 to all the way to the deep south of H, y'all know what time it is. Y'all know what we do. You know what I'm saying? Now, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I can't say much about Cali no more. You know what I'm saying? I really, I really can't. I know, I know my boy Baby Bash over there. You know what I'm saying? But other than, you know, I, I mean, Mr. Criminal, he, he, he's pretty good. You know what I'm saying? But as far as anybody else, I can't, I can't really speak. I ain't even talking about Kelly right now. I'm talking oh, about oh, you, bro. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We, yeah. I, I did a whole switch. I got a buzz, bro. Yeah. <laughs> well, so what are you drinking on? Oh, I got that Blackberry Crown. I get it down with that one. It's a limited edition. It's a new new and improved one. Okay. That's what's up, bro. That's what's up. Well, shit, on that note, man, we out, man. Um, it's your boy, Mo Hustle. You can find me on Instagram, at the real Mo Hustle. On Facebook, Mo Hustle, M-O Hustle. And uh, make sure to hit the subscribe. Share this one time for your boy. Lock it in, and, uh, man. Where can they find you at? I'm just on the Facebook, man. And we, we about to get in all kinds of platforms, at every platform that y'all ever think of. But, you, you know, I, I, ain't, I ain't under no Richie Rich. Uh, that's, 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 that's my name in the music. But you can look me up as, as Richard Avalez. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And I'm on the face, just chilling like a villain, trying to make a million. You know what I mean? But money, money comes every day, every day. I got you, man. That's what's up, man. On that note, we out, man. Y'all have a good one. Make sure to hit that subscribe and share, man.